The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund and Lilly Broadcasting have teamed up to bring the wall that heals to Erie Memorial Day weekend. Prior to the arrival of the wall, we're featuring local Vietnam vets and their families. Tonight, the story of an Erie man who continues to serve his country in a different fashion. You don't want to know, because I was combat infantry, and we were out in the bush 28 days out of the year. Now 71 years old, Skip Zeber served in Vietnam from 1970 to 71. Over 50 years later, the memories are fresh and emotions are still running high. You know, we weren't treated very well when we come home. And then, oh, it must have been, I'd say, 10 years ago, I was out at Giant Eagle and there was a young lady doing the cashiering. And she goes, welcome home. I, boy, I jumped back and said, wow, that was amazing because that was probably the first time somebody ever said anything. He uses much of his free time these days to help out veterans or current members of the military. He wants them to know how much he appreciates their service. Why do I do it? Because we didn't have no one helping us when we came home. And I make sure they are taken care of. If they're not getting the right treatment at the hospital, I take them up and see the director and the director gets them their help right away. And Eva, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund is now honoring those who served with a new program and it's called the Memory Program and it honors veterans who returned home and later died. Now the applications are due by March 29th for an application. All you have to do is email inmemory at vvmf.org You'll need to supply a copy of military documents, establishing service in Vietnam, a copy of the death certificate, and two clear photographs of the honoree. Again, the email, inmemory at vvmf.org. Skip had some story to tell. He so. really did. That kind of gave me uh, shivers, too, when he said so many years later, a cashier at Giant Eagle said, Welcome home. And that welcome home means so much it to all those does. Vietnam vets. It does. And, uh, you know, this um, in memory yeah. is now going to let their legacy live on. It's, uh, it's a great program. They just started this year.